Man, this is Derek from Kokomo. I've been getting a lot of questions uh, on scent control. I wrote an article on scent control on canine. hole set and I got some lure down there and what I'm going to do is down the road here a little bit uh, I got a buddy with a dog granted it's a domesticated dog it's not a fox or a coyote but how, how in the world are we going to get a fox or coyote to do this demonstration but uh, he's going to bring this dog down here and hopefully when this dog smells this odor going to want to work this set and hopefully he'll work it in the same concept that a fox or coyote would work so we'll have to experiment and see what happens and once we're done with I can try to explain a little bit more so we're going to go up down here he's coming right now I'm going to get out of the picture I'm going to watch this dog work this dirt hole set Slow down, slow down, Steven. Just walking right past him. On this side, this side. Make him come on this side. Freeze, freeze, Steven. Give him all the leash you want. Freeze. As you can see, this dog's sniffing around. He's caught a whiff of something. He's smelling that hole. He should come around to this side. He can't see down inside it, so he's got to work it from this side. Basically, if we had a trap right in front of that dirt hole, we'll see if we would catch that fox or coyote. He smells it. He's not sure what it is. He'll sniff that hole. There he goes. He's down in the hole. He's trying to see what it is. The thief takes that final step. Well, he's not interested in it, but, but he's still working it. It's all new to him. We almost got him by the back foot right there. Again, we don't care if we catch him by the front or back foot. It's just a domesticated dog, so obviously he's not going to be too too worried about fox or coyote lure. But he's working it. Take him back by there again, Steve, and see what happens. At least he's interested in it. You know, your wild fox or coyote would definitely be interested. Walk him by the dirt hole set. Slow down. Just bring him back. There you go. Let him, let him work it. That's all right. It ain't going to hurt him any. Let him work it. I want him to stick. Okay. All right. Well, as you can see, it didn't quite work out, but he did catch his attention. And the wind is blowing kind of a southwest direction. That's what we need to pay attention to. Wind. That odor is blowing that way. So that dog, he come by there, he kind of did a little bit of turn and came back to it. And he worked it out. This dog has been fed every day. set and you see we almost caught him by the if there was a trap there we would have probably would have caught that dog by the back foot we want that dog the main thing is come on up here I want to show you something what we do is we dig this back at a 45 degree angle so when this fox or coyote is coming back here can you get you get this fox or coyote is coming back here on this side he can't see down inside or he has to come around to this side to get down in there to see it. We don't. We want him to walk through here. This is like a loose jaw guard. If there was a trap right here, we probably would have got him by the back foot, maybe. But that dog has to work from this side here. That's what we want, and I just want to make sure you guys understand this wind control. Wherever you put your trap, if the thing was way over here and the, and the canine's on this side, he's not going to smell it because the wind's blowing that direction. That's why I told Steven to bring the dog on this side. And sure enough, when he come on this side, he caught that scent cone and came in working. It's kind of a haphazard experiment we did right here. It didn't work out that good, but uh, we'll be All right, thanks.